What's up guys, today I'm going to do a little vlog style video about how I prepare for internship interviews. If you're new here, I'm a junior in college at UGA studying public relations and I have an interview tomorrow and I need to prepare for it and just kind of like vlog how I prepare for an interview and like what that looks like for me. I'm super excited about the interview that I have tomorrow because it is with Coca-Cola, which is just like unbelievable to me. This internship is in Atlanta for the summer and it's with Coke, like I said, and it's for public affairs and communications which that is my like certificate that I'm getting which is like a minor is public affairs communications and they were looking for PR students from UGA to interview and I was selected they sent out an email to all the Grady College juniors which is the journalism school at UGA saying that they were looking for all Grady juniors but specifically PR majors and um, I talked about this in a vlog like two weeks ago but they were looking for applicants I think there were over like 50 or 60 applicants and they chose nine for like semi-finalist interviews I don't I don't know how many they'll choose from the nine for the finalist interviews and I don't know like if they'll go from nine to five or nine to four or three so I just don't know like what the next steps look like but I'm super excited to be included in the semi-finalist interview so with that being said um, I wanted to sit down and kind of show you guys how I prepare for an interview the first thing that I always think about is what the heck am I gonna wear you want to wear something professional obviously this is like a huge opportunity corporate internship in Atlanta I want to look the part. What I'm gonna wear is my blue slacks. They're from Ann Taylor, I think. They're like the tall ones. I'll try to insert a photo if I can get one tomorrow. Navy blue slacks. And then I got this really fun blouse top from Anthropology. I'm obsessed with it. It's super fun and colorful. And that's just kind of how my personality is. I'm like a very like, I always try to like bring some energy to the room. I'm super excited about my top. I was thinking like, oh, I need to wear a blazer. A, I don't own a blazer. I could have bought one, but none of them were like screaming me when I was looking at them. And I don't wanna dress the part I think I need to dress. I want to like dress like me. So I'm not like forcing a blazer just because like a black or navy blazer I just felt would make me feel stuffy and sweaty and gross and just like not myself. I'm just wearing like a nice long sleeve blouse that's colorful. And then my favorite part are my shoes. They're from Topshop and I've had them for like a while. I got them over the summer in New York and they're just these yellow suede Oxfords. I don't know what to call them exactly but they're little yellow shoes and I'm so excited because it kind of makes the yellow in the top pop out and I'm super excited. So that's what I'm wearing. Now we have that figured out I'm gonna go into like actually preparing for the actual interview I always like to have a little journal that I take to my interviews this one is just a little moleskin it's Tiffany blue color super fun so what I'm gonna do in here is write down a bunch of questions I anticipate them asking and a lot of my answers as well just kind of doing that I'm gonna write it out on my computer too and then also just like bullet points about like strengths and weaknesses also I'm gonna write questions that I have for them in here and then when they give you answers write them down literally taking note of what they're saying about the position I don't know. I just think that's a good tip. It just shows that you're prepared when you bring a little notebook like this, I think. All right, so what I'm gonna start with doing is making a new note on my laptop, and I'm gonna go through and list out all the interview questions that I want to prepare for. So the first, and I actually spoke with some of the people who have had this position before, and I wanted to hear from them on like what they thought was like important to prepare. So I think the first question that I really need to nail down is like, why Coca-Cola? And that's a big one. I was just hanging out with Lauren Berger, the intern queen last week, and I love her videos. If you are looking for more like internship resources but we sat down and filmed a video I don't know if it's up yet or not if it's uh, it's it'll, it'll either be like before this video or after we filmed a video and just sat down and chatted about like all things internships but something she said that really struck me was that these internship interviews applications all that it's not about you it's about the position and for the people hiring they're thinking about like who's gonna be the best for this position it's not like which person do I like the most so um, I think turning everything back to the company back to the position make your interview about them not about you so that's the first question I'm gonna answer is why coca-cola just apply it to whatever company or group or whatever you're interviewing with another question I'm writing down is why this position with coca-cola like I was saying it's about the company it's about the position it's not about you so why coke why this position also tell me about yourself that's always one i'm gonna add that one because they always ask that that's the first question 95 percent of the time that you get asked on interviews is and you have to be able to nail that keep it short keep it sweet and always bring it back to the company so you do a brief introduction of yourself and then you say and i'm really excited about this position with coca-cola because and you kind of drop your whole like why this position answer in your tell me about yourself if that makes sense okay so i'm still making my list of interview questions and i thought i'd just go through the ones 
I have so far. So I have why Coca-Cola, why this position with Coca-Cola in particular. Tell me about yourself. How do your past experiences align with this role? How do you manage large projects? What techniques have you found most useful? Discuss a project you undertook that demonstrates leadership qualities. What is your biggest weakness? What is your biggest strength? How could you be misunderstood? How can people get the wrong impression of you? And what do you do about that perception? Describe yourself in one word. What are you most proud of? Tell me about a time you had to think outside the box to solve a problem. How would your coworkers describe you? Give me an example of a time when you did something without being asked. Tell me about a time when you had to deal with a difficult situation while working with others. Get a, as many questions down as you have time to and get your answers down for them. And then the second thing that I really recommend, well, I don't know if it's the second, I guess third after we pick our outfit, get our journal. I don't even know what number we're on, is research. You want to research the company. You want to know as much as you can about the company. With a company like Coca-Cola, that's like kind of hard, right? Like they've been around for so long. They are a leader in like globally. It's just like kind of overwhelming. But with my past internships, the companies I worked for were smaller. I really felt like I had a good idea of the company. So if it's a smaller company, really do your research. And I'm not saying if it's a big company, don't do your research. Like I'm I'm obviously still doing my research. There's like no excuse for not knowing things for a small company. Whereas with a big one, it's like, oh, I wasn't aware of that. That's awesome, you know, tell me more. Research is super important. So I have articles pulled up that I'm gonna read through and make notes on. Also, I'm gonna search Coca-Cola and just see what's like in the news lately. So I'll filter my Google search by like past month and just go through articles on that. That's your next step after questions is just research. And I've got my questions lined up, but then I'm gonna do my research and then I'm gonna answer the questions because I wanna answer them with all that research in my, in my head, if that makes sense. And then I'm also gonna pull up the position and pull up the responsibilities. And I'm gonna write down like all of the information about the position in my notebook as well. This is like a mishmash and I have so much energy today cause I'm so excited about this opportunity. All right guys, it's been like probably 45 minutes or an hour and I've gone through, literally like gone through LinkedIn, gone through everyone on LinkedIn who works with like Coca-Cola Public Affairs in Atlanta. I have researched the company, read about news. I know that tomorrow they're launching Coca-Cola Vanilla Orange. It's like a new flavor, super fun. They also just just launched Sprite Lemonade, which is like a lemonade Sprite. A lot of research. And then I've also gone through a ton of different articles about interview tips, videos about interview tips, questions to ask, how to avoid interview jitters, just like tons of materials I've gone through online, right? So I've developed a ton of questions. I'm up to 23, and then I have four questions for them. So I'm gonna start going through and answering some of these questions that I have for myself. I went ahead and wrote down the role. So I wrote um, what you be doing as an intern. And then here I wrote like what they're looking for in an intern. So then I'm gonna go ahead and on this page, since I have a little bit more room, write my questions for the interviewers. You wanna ask relevant questions. You don't wanna ask like, how's your morning? Like, if you're asking them questions about themselves, ask it like in relation to the company. Also, you just wanna ask questions about the position and make sure you have a good understanding of what the position is. A lot of those like star questions, which is, um, what does it stand for? Situation, task, action, result. So basically they're like situational questions, star questions. Tell me about a challenge or conflict you faced and how you've dealt with it. Tell me about a time you faced a conflict while working as a part of a team. I definitely need to work on those still. And then the rest of them I feel okay about. I need to apply yourself, your skills to the position, to the skill set they're looking for and just be yourself because I think that's a huge thing when it comes to interviews is being yourself is so important. People can tell when you're being fake. So I just don't want to give you guys my, all my answers and be like, this is like what you need to say and you'll get a job. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to like do well in the interview or not. This is just what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just basically like going through and doing this and then I'm going to write it all down in my list. It's, it's a lot later now. It's like 930 um, and I was talking to you guys at like noon. So it's been a while, but um, I went and worked out and had a meeting and showered, came back had dinner and I put my like pajamas slash lounger that I was just wearing this morning back on yeah that's why my makeup is gone and my hair is like damp to prepare basically like research know what kind of questions you might be asked and prepare for them and just be yourself I'm trying not to stress and just have fun with it and it's just such an honor to even be in the semi-finalist interviews so yeah I'm really excited to interview and like show them what I'm made of tomorrow I got back from my interview and changed into some comfy clothes I should have gotten a clip of my outfit I'm so dumb but but anyways, I just wear like some navy socks and like this really pretty blouse from Anthropology, but, um, and these yellow shoes. I told you about it yesterday. Today's Monday, February 25th. I just got back and I think the interview went really well. It was really conversational. I think that you can never over prepare for an interview. So important to be confident 
and I just don't think you can over prepare. I think it went really well and I'm hopeful to possibly be. So basically, just to update you guys, like in a vlog sense, um, basically there'll be three people they select to go to finalist interviews and those will be next week in Atlanta, which is really cool. So those are next week and then they'll choose one person to be the intern before spring break, which is after that day at um, Coke they're pretty much gonna choose. Yeah, I should know soon. Seriously, just honored to even be interviewed, considered for the position because they had to narrow it down a lot just of like who they were gonna interview so yeah anyways I just wanted to like pop in and say that but we'll get back to my outro that I filmed yesterday <laughs> I hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below I love to see all your thumbs ups and subscribe to my channel if you're new here I put up new college lifestyle videos pretty much every week and I would love to have you let me know what videos you want to see next for me in a comment below I'm always taking video requests follow me on social media everything is just at Lottie Smalley it's a great way to keep up with me outside of YouTube and I think that'll be it for this video so again, thanks guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!